Okay. Hello everyone. Uh, this video is uh, related to the twin handler uh, class file that I've been updating uh, from time to time. And uh, I made a number of changes and improvements and fixed some problems with the with this file. Okay. So let's start with the very basic thing. First of all, uh, it, it's the same way to use it. You just add existing item to the project and select the files and you get it here. When you want to use it this time, you are defining a collection and then you are using scan images. The function scan it in the previous uh, in the previous file is not supported anymore. I removed it altogether and now I'm using this one. So uh, this one will get you um, actually a list of file names each containing one of the scanned images or the pictures okay and then I'm uh, looping on all of the pic uh, file names loading uh, the files into memory and displaying them into the into a different form. So uh, let's try this out okay okay I'm pressing the button I'm selecting the this one wait a few seconds okay I already took a number of pictures here okay this is a hand this is say a room empty a little bit dark this is the hand in another form okay so I'm selecting all these images and getting them okay so this is one this is the second and this is the third as you can see okay so we got all three and in, in one row okay now uh, of course you can select one by one no problem with that let's go back to the program and check something else now this function has two optional parameters the first one is directory uh, in the previous uh, in the previous file version we we used to write the path where to store the images and we use the C drive here you can specify um, uh, and of course in that version we were able to specify any path here you don't even have to specify a path if you don't specify a path the program would assume that you want to store these images in the temp directory okay so it will uh, find out where the temp directory in Windows uh, is and write the images there and of course you can specify the CD or E drive in any place you would like to okay in specific directory you would like to work for and place your pictures in um, just keep in mind if you are using Windows 7 and Vista you should not write directly into the operating system drive okay the, because the operating system will prevent you from doing that so this is the first parameter it's optional you can provide anything or you can neglect it now the second parameter if you check it it's the image extension and uh, here this is not just um, uh, and an extension actually it, it will affect the, the quality of your image so you can here you can now for example place BMP and this way your your scanned image won't be compressed and start as JPEG of course the size will be very big but the quality will be high and uh, if you'd like you can uh, you, you, you can uh, change this into PNG Okay, I don't know what the difference between BAP and PNG. I think they are both the same. Anyway, so um, so basically, um, let's also take another picture. I won't turn on the scanner because uh, it's, it's the same as using the camera. It's the same interface. So I'm using this one. Okay, wait a few seconds. Actually, I fixed one of the problem that was related to this one. Okay let me use higher resolution now and yeah so I'm taking a picture okay as you can see this is the picture and of course the quality is horrible but uh, anyway you don't see the defects 
in the, in the in the image. So now if we if we restore this one as a JPEG, run this one again. Button one. Select this one again. Okay. And now um, I'm taking the picture. Okay. Hmm. Okay. It seems that the image was already bad, and I didn't distinguish the defects anyway. But uh, this one is actually stored as uh, as JPEG. <coughs> So anyway, uh, you, you get the idea. So uh, this version solves the problem of where to store the, the image and uh, the, the extension of the image itself. Uh, also, in, in the previous file, if there was a problem in the twin interface, uh, your application usually hangs and, uh, how, uh, and uh, there is no response or something like that. Uh, I fixed that, uh, so now it's working fine. Uh, the only problem with this file is this. When you run the application, and uh, now let's say you hit the cancel button, uh, as you can see, I hit the cancel, but I did, I, I did it go back to the main window. I got this interface. So now I'm pressing close, okay? Uh, so so the, this is the only problem. Okay, I'll try to find a solution to that and uh, hopefully when I find it, I will post it. Uh, so until then, I hope you'll find this useful and uh, you'll find it, hopefully you'll find it better than the previous file. And if you have notes or recommendations or ideas um, about this, please send them to me. Also check out the website, the mkadivesurf.com and uh, so that you can download the uh, new file so thank you have a nice day bye bye